At that particular point of my visit to Capricorn, better saying my pilgrimage to Capricorn, I was totally convinced that the three children saw the Virgin and they had a message to spread. So Paolo felt the psychological explanation didn't seem to hold any weight. Well, without having interviewed the people themselves directly, it's very difficult to, to say. There wasn't any concrete explanation coming from the world of science either. Science uh, only deals with the natural world. It doesn't deny the supernatural world. It just has nothing whatsoever to say about the su supernatural world. Uh, my first reaction was delight, but I wasn't sure was it true. <laughs> So I had to question people and see. Paolo wanted to meet the local priest who was the only person to obtain a signed statement from Ursula, Tom and Barry, outlining what they saw and heard. What do you use as a criteria to, to know whether it is imagination or, or it is well, a real? I was very impressed by questioning the parents, uh -huh. especially the, uh, the mother of Ursula. Uh -huh. She was critical and she didn't accept it and she was objecting to it. And that was um, quite impressive. Uh -huh. and, and then you talked to the... I talked to the boys. And, to and uh, I was very impressed by their simplicity and the fact that uh, they weren't trying to put anything on. Uh -huh. Oh, well, the church, as usual, was very prudent and... <laughs> Why, Father? Why? And uh, the first reaction to the church is disbelief. They... they, 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 they insist on each apparition proving it the hard way. Uh -huh. So they make obstacles and they don't give approval. They, they follow the scripture, test, test the prophets, uh -huh. test the prophets and see if they're true. But uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes they don't test or they don't test very accurately and they leave it till too late. Why do they fear? Oh, they're afraid of people uh, they're afraid of people making fools of themselves uh -huh. and bringing the church into disrepute if they accept every apparition and every miracle. Uh -huh. They have to be careful. That's part of the practice yeah. of the church now. And what about the messages, Father? The messages that Our Lady gave to the visionaries? Here? Well, that was a particular delight for me because uh, Our Lady spoke for the first time, I think, in Ireland. She gave messages, spoken messages. And she even spoke in Irish. And uh, the messages were, pray 10 times more than you're doing now. Behave 10 times better. Well, we have the Ten Commandments. And uh, what I was particularly interested in, she said, Ireland will be saved. First of all, she said, I'm praying for the people of Ireland. I'm praying for them, that they'll be better. I'm praying for them. And the next day, she said, Ireland will be saved. Well, that's a marvelous, encouraging message. Ireland will be saved. There was something that I'm still concerned about. I'd been warned before we set out on our journey that the Bible prophesied the devil would appear as an angel of light in an attempt to lure people away from a direct relationship with God. And no matter how you slice it, Liam, the Catholic Church promotes the worship of Mary. This is just, in my opinion, Liam, absolute blasphemy. So were these apparitions some sort of spiritual trick, trying to bring people into a form of idolatry? I'm just, I don't, I'm not, it's not a confrontation. After coming this far, I really don't want to leave no, no, deceived. You. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, no, I know. We are going, you know. Yeah. I think that people who fear to be deceived is that people who who never been deceived before. People who have been deceived before, they fear this no more. They know the pain. So instead of fear of being deceived, they, they want to believe in something. So the thing backfires. So I don't have fear of being deceived because I was deceived so many, so many times that instead of pointing out the, the errors and mistakes and deceivings that I found in my life, I decided, you know,
follow the path of believing. And it is a choice. I don't have an answer. I only have an act of faith. Mm -hmm. This is all that what was left for all my spiritual quest. An act of faith. A bet. Gambling that God exists. You know, I may be wrong. I may be right, but I'm gambling in something that either if I lose or if you for win, I am a winner at the end. in this hotel in Cape Queen, I discovered that they had internet. And I went into a page with apparitions all over the world of the Virgin Mary. And it seems that there is a coherence. Everything is connected. The Virgin is basically saying the same things, either in Medjugorje or Lourdes or, or, or Cape Queen or Mexico. I do believe that everybody in the world dream of having a kind of vision, at least to convince themselves that there is something beyond death, because everybody's scared to die. But, uh, and then you see simple people, like in Lourdes, Saint Bernadette, like in Medjugorje, like in Mallory, like in Fatima, innocence is the basis of of communion. And communion is the only reason for us to be here and now, is to look around and to see that everything is a manifestation of God. And every moment also, time and space. So I think this is the major goal of humankind, to communicate, or to open the doors of heaven that it is here, you know, the door is here towards the other heaven and becoming unified with the unity. Thank you, Father, for guiding us on our journey. Father, I pray that your desire for peace among all people can become a reality in the world one day. Lord, I pray that Barry is in his resting place with you in heaven, where he's enjoying eternal life with all the saints. Thank you, Mother, for showing me through the path of joy things that I really needed to learn or probably to remind. Thank you for again showing me the power of simplicity and love, the power of solidarity, and the importance of sharing your message to the people that we meet. Thank you for showing me your water, your capacity to adapt yourself. Thank you for inviting me to come here. Thank you, Nossa Senhora.